Hello, this is EB and this is a new let's play. The game is Sam and Max Hit the Road. It's a classic adventure game from LucasArts from the early 90s. The golden era of adventure game. This is one, one of my favorite adventure game. Not the best, but very fun and very good. So, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more than unpredictable. Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh! Ow! Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam! Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. You mind if I drive? <laughs> Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. Ugly time bomb. Microsoft Entertainment presents Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Hello? Yes? 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 No, really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. <laughs> Sir, 
Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And here's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. This is the curio. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now I can't seem to hock them back up. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we got nothing better to do, like any time. I can't pick that up. Tom Nation and Blimey, they ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for them, you idiot. I knew that. Uh. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Oops. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. Ho ho ho! That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there! How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but it's them! Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. <laughs> our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? 
No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free corn dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? Uh, which one do I talk to? Me! Me! Him! Him! Have you ever thought about surgery? What for? Oh... Uh, I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Good Lord! He's buck naked! So are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. Is there anything else you can tell us about your escape, Bigfoot? Well... He's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty? Tall and dense. Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. And his assistant Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And a country and western singer, the boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steamed when he found out that we didn't have them anymore. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. I can't pick that up. I want something. Flashlight. And this and it fits perfectly. Yeah. Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? What can you tell me about life? It beats the alternative. Whoa, you're a big boy. Now that's why I sit down all the time. You guys all go to the same tattoo parlor or what? Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. What do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police, and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Oh, let's go, Sam. Oh, hush. 
you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. I loved the way her neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck. You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's do it again. Maybe later, chum. Now we click on the inventory. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? It's empty. So... Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Okay, let's go. Lost and found. Holy cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. Have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up for your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the cone old tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. We go to the inventory. We get a new item. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. I gotta go to the bathroom. I don't think he'd want that. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me, what can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? Snucky you? What's that? I sense exposition, Sam. I'm glad you asked, mister. Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor him. At Snucky you were given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, 
and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. No, it's not. Now, how can I put all that snucky you training to use for you? Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, I smell beef fritters. Beef fritters? We dip the cows right here in the kitchen. So, what do you want? Are you sure Snucky U's not in the Bowl Coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. <laughs> They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? No, nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Go outside. Are you as confused as I am? More so. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Well, that's all. Okay, I end the episode now. This is EB, and I see you next time.